This is Katherine Schneider from the Fitchburg Historical Society, and we are continuing our series on interviews of um, leaders in Fitchburg on the uh, pandemic and how it has impacted uh, Fitchburg and beyond, uh, as well as the impact Fitchburg has had on, uh, on beyond our borders. And we are so pleased this morning to have representatives from Promega with us this morning to uh, to go into more detail of how Promega has been so responsive, uh, actually on a world scale to the pandemic. Uh, we have with us this morning, Penny Patterson, who is the Vice President of Corporate Affairs uh, at Promega, and then Jennifer Romanen, who is the Senior Director of IVD Operations. And uh, they are uh, going to uh, do a presentation for us this morning. And so I'm so pleased uh, to turn uh, our uh, program over to them. Thank you Thank so much, you. Catherine. And I'd say Jen also serves on our board of directors. So um, you, got a, you got a two for one with Jen today. <laughs> um, so we thought, you know, what we might do is um, just share a little bit about just sort of starting with who we are, because we know it's a big mystery. Um, biotechnology, if you don't live in the world, is is a little bit like what in the world is it? Um, and so talking a little bit about that and, and invite Jen and I will just sort of work through a, a few visuals and slides that share what that is. Some of these things were also shared recently with um, the um, uh, Committee on Economic Development at Fitchburg too. So um, we shared it there. Um, so we'll go through that and then a little and then a little bit more on COVID and then maybe we can chat about that. I'll stop sharing my, my screen and we can we can uh, talk about what we did. So just a little bit about who in the world is Promega, you know, just sort of a little, the, the basics uh, sort of landed in Fitchburg in 78, um, before Fitchburg was Fitchburg actually. Um, and, um, you know, our revenue is uh, over 700, almost 800 million now, 1800 employees around the world. About a thousand of those employees report into the Madison branch, by the way, or the Fitchburg branch. Um, about 4,000 products, and we'll be talking about a super subset of those, about 50 of them regarding COVID. And uh, we distribute to about 100 countries. So um, we served, we did serve the global pandemic globally. Um, and this just gives you a little snapshot of where our branches are, where we're doing manufacturing. Um, the blue dots are all the distributors to, to get to that sort of 100 country service that we have. Uh, around the world. What in the world do you do? I know that question is still like, okay, great. We know who, you, who your customers are, but still, what do you do? Um, and if we broke it down, uh, we would say we do a couple things. We create reagents, chemicals, chemistries that work inside of a cell. A single cell is immensely complex. Um, there's a ton of stuff going on in there. Some, some of our scientists call it incredible machinery. Um, but all sorts of things are going on in there that, that suggest how life is working. And I am not the scientist, by the way. So Jen, jump in at any time. As, as this historical society said, hey, we want to talk to Promega. And Karen, uh, a colleague of mine, and I, Karen Burkhart, and I were talking about it. She said, Penn, would you, would you mind talking? And I said, only if I had a scientist by my side. So, <laughs> so I'm here for uh, you, Penny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just speaking, speaking that you know the cell is like super complicated, um, and all the things that go on in there. So yeah. we make chemistries that that help break that open, or or watch what's going on, and then some instruments uh, that help automate the the experiments. I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Jen. That's sort of the non-science yeah. version of that. I like to try to um, explain reagents just a little bit. So a reagent is a mixture of a number of chemicals and liquids. So for example, one of our reagents might be a mixture of different salts and water and different kinds of um, liquids that are like soapy liquids, for example. And um, we we formulate reagents, so we, we um, bring all those pieces together and create those mixtures that are necessary. 
uh, to create a single reagent. And then the products that we sell combine multiple reagents together to perform some sort of activity, like maybe to purify your DNA out of um, a cell. And a lot of kids now in the Fitchburg area, I'm sure, um, have been uh, gone through the purifying DNA from strawberries experiments. I know our technical services team members go out and do that in the community. I've done that with my kids when they were younger in their classrooms. Um, if you've done that before, if you've had that experience, the different chemicals, reagents that you use might be shampoo, um, some sort of alcohol. Uh, our, our reagents that we create are the um, more sophisticated and sensitive versions of those types of um, products. So hopefully that helps people start to picture what a reagent might look like or a kit. Um, and then the instruments that we manufacture and sell um, basically automate these processes for our customers. So instead of doing a bunch of manual steps, um, they're able to allow the instrument to um, take the reagents from our kit and run a process or create an outcome for them more quickly or less hands-on time more easily. Right. So a little bit of background on that. And all those things too require a, sort of a high level of service. Um, oh, now I'm getting the, the background a little bit. Um, and, and actually Jen works with those teams as well in terms of helping scientists use those reagents if they, if they have questions or want to choose the right one or want to use it on something different than, than you know, is they're trying something new, um, as well as instruments, servicing those instruments, making sure they're running well and uh, doing the work they need to do. So a lot of support to our customers that, that comes from Jen and her team. So let's talk a little bit about COVID. Now, we're, this is one of our experiments. Uh, the, 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 we have a little video embedded here. Um, let's see if it will actually work. Keep your fingers crossed. Promega, which will be producing the important reagent uh, materials to be able to do the testing for COVID-19. There has been a global effort in optimizing the methods and tools that enable the detection of the viral genes within wastewater systems. We started and initiated a project to detect antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2. We sought to create a solution that would allow the analysis of the samples without having to perform sample extraction. Omega and Madison are helping meet the growing demand for tests. We provide the chemicals that allow the researcher to get that material and use it in a way that informs them of so if someone has COVID-19 or not. Promega makes a number of different reagents that are involved in all steps along the way in the testing process. So well, that worked pretty well. <laughs> yeah. So you can see we yeah, and then we did it with reagents and instruments. Um, a couple of little highlights of those products. Um, I'm so glad that worked well, by the way. Um, <laughs> we you know we had the um, the clinical diagnostics. The you know do you have COVID? We we're in some of the many of those tests. Probably about we we were trying to calculate it. Um, and we couldn't get an exact number, but we were, we know we were in well over half the tests in the world that were testing for COVID. Um, so we had an ingredient in there. Um, and some of that was in sample preparation, both pulling out the, the uh, RNA DNA and then the analysis of um, helping figure out, is it is COVID there? 
Um, this, I just wanted to point out that you, you learned about many areas of the company and um, it throughout this, this chart, we won't get into it, is a whole thing about all those groups we serve and all the kinds of technologies we provide. We found our COVID touch points in many parts in the company. So whether it was in some of our primary tools for research and testing, uh, whether it was in working with, like we mentioned earlier, those applied markets for wastewater surveillance, um, or whether it was in custom OEM manufacturing where we, we manufacture something specific to go into somebody else's kit. There were a lot of different touch points for the company in how it supported um, the COVID crisis. Uh, and then I think this is almost the last slide, um, but also sharing the spirit of community support. So there was a, the, the public-private partnership. You saw Governor Evers um, speaking there. So working with um, both the Wisconsin Department of Health, but also some other groups along the way, you know, trying to do our part. We had infrastructure that could we, it, we couldn't sustain support forever but we could help and help band-aid some of the immediate needs and gaps. And so that came in a few different forms. It came in um, our logistics team actually being the one to figure out how to get COVID tests to schools in Dane County and get those delivered out. They came in helping vaccinate the, the Madison Police Department. There were some connections there. We also checked with the Fitchburg Police Department, by the way, but they were already well underway into getting vaccinated. Uh, but we did work with the city and some in another area with the senior center and helping volunteers get vaccinated. So in addition, that wellness center, uh, those folks were incredible. Um, not only in helping our own employees, but saying there we do have a little bit of capacity to help the community. We can't do everything. We had to work very carefully with the departments of health um, to ensure that we, you know, that we manage those vaccine processes carefully, especially with needing two. Um, there's a lot of things to consider in that. But there were some places where we said this is contained and we can help, and we wanted to do that. So uh, this just last slide um, that just shares the importance of that you know we're kind of all in this together. Um, that we measure ourselves by how we work together, not just by, you know, the quarterly financial statements. I would like to just comment for myself in terms of, and I'm sure people who are going to be viewing this, on the enlightenment that you've given us uh, for Promega, who Promega is, what Promega does. Um, these are questions I know I've heard from other people about what are those beautiful buildings out there in Fitchburg, this Promega, and what are they about? And you have really clarified that so beautifully today. And then to go into the specifics of how Promega responded to uh, this uh, worldwide pandemic that we have been in the midst of for, for the last year and a half or so. Um, I just feel uh, from hearing your presentation, a sense of deep pride that this company that has made its home in Fitchburg and embedded itself in the Fitchburg community has had such a tremendous impact in the world in helping us with the testing for this uh, horrible uh, uh, pandemic that we have been in the midst of, the cooperation that was needed to uh, make this happen, the team that you have um, put together uh, to accomplish this, and then the amount of cooperation that has been needed. I've just, um, I'm just in awe uh, of what you have done. Mm. And so a, a tremendous thank you is, uh, is due uh, to, your, to your company from, from those of us who live locally, but then from the worldwide community. This is just so impressive. Um, so I wanna thank, thank both you. of you for, you. Uh, for your tremendous uh, contributions from, from your company. So if you could relay that, <laughs> relay that back. Um, We're, I'm happy to, it's, it's an incredible yeah. team of people who, who uh, did all this. And this is sort of the tip yeah. of the iceberg, frankly, but yeah. it gives you a little sense. <laughs> Mm -hmm, it does. Mm -hmm. And I guess just uh, just to end up today, do you have any personal comments on on what working for Promega has 
has meant to each of you, uh, maybe particularly through this COVID time. I think this has been a unique uh, historic period, uh, both, um, both for the world and our communities, but for us as individuals too. So either one of you um, or both of you, your comments about that. The only thing I, I, I jump in on is when I was saying the tip of the iceberg, things we didn't hit on as much that to me were so meaningful. Um, sorry for the sunshine. I didn't realize it would come in so much. Um, is uh, the, the people. I mean, I just really come back to tell a lot about the people. The things you didn't see as much of that we can certainly provide to the archives are internally, um, there, were, there was a lot of gratitude. You saw a little bit reference to thank you, but a lot of appreciation for what's going on and trying to have fun and connection. There's a whole story around early on, um, the manufacturing team sort of adopted the mantra, just keep swimming, uh, which came from, I don't know if you ever saw Finding Nemo, but it sort of came out of that spirit of just keep swimming, you know, just keep going. And it came up in our first virtual town hall from our VP of manufacturing, um, Chuck, who said, Chuck York, who said, you know, we're just saying, just keep swimming. Well, the whole company just embraced that spirit um, to the point where we even heard from um, the writer of Finding Nemo, who sent us, who sent us his special, you know, just keep swimming, thanks and appreciation. And so, the 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 fact that you know that this idea of celebration and connection for our employees is the thing that that helps us get through um, some of these things and not only get through them but perform at incredible rates. Um, some of the some of our performance rates actually, if they could go up, they did in in some ways um, during this. People were focused and they were driven, and I can't say enough about how incredible that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I would just add on the fact that. Um, so I was mentioning to Catherine at the beginning that um, this is my 28th year at Promega, and so lots of enjoyment seeing the company grow over these last 28 years, and seeing things like um, investments that we've made into additional space that we were then space in fact that we don't know how it's going to be used but we build that space every time we build a building so that we have additional capacity and capabilities and um and that was needed uh during covid we needed to build into those spaces we needed to add new capabilities and so there's a lot of um that statement that uh penny shared in the presentation that bill made about looking for the future isn't just words it's um it's physically embodied in the way that we um, build our buildings um the way that we train our staff the desire to create a workplace where people want to be here for a long time so that they were quite experienced going into um, COVID. We of course hired many people and we had to train new people, but without strong leaders that had a lot of years of experience, that would have been more of a challenge. And as Penny said, our, our, uh, the output increased significantly and our complaint rates, if at all possible, to drop because they're already quite low, um, dropped uh, during that time as well. So, uh, I guess you know you mentioned being being proud uh, to be part of the Fitchburg community and um, and have Promega here, and and I'm very proud to have and am working here um, and being within the Fitchburg community. It's um, yeah, very grateful, I guess ultimately <laughs> so it's a it's a special place and i think the support flows back and forth um mm -hmm. for you know i think i think the fitchburg community is also also thinks about um the future and the long term and what is that what does that mean and i think sharing that spirit um has helped us both grow in a way that's that's mindful to um integration of what's to come um even though we might not know what's to come We've we've created an infrastructure that can receive it when it arrives. So, yeah, good. Yeah, nicely said, Penn. I would say, uh, from the perspective of the Fitchburg Historical Society, you have made history, and we are mm -hmm. recording it today so that we can save it and savor and congratulate you on what you have done and your accomplishments. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, I would I would end by just my great 
great thanks to both of you for being here today and for the Promega organization for just uh, providing both of you for us here. Mm -hmm. And then to just to say that we will be uh, having the interview um, uh, also on FitchburgHistory.org, our website. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're most pleased to offer that also to people for uh, for revisiting uh, this uh, this opportunity for hearing about Promega. And then um, I guess ending by just saying, keep swimming. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>